Is the middle of a global pandemic the right time to talk about your wishes for end of life care? Yeah, probably. We'll talk about it today on The Wrinkle. So right now, most of us are thinking about how we can avoid infection and stay alive. Quite frankly, a lot of us are thinking about dying, uh, about what it would be like if we died prematurely because of something like coronavirus. Um, my husband and I both work in healthcare and our kids, uh, who are teenagers, have sort of jokingly asked us if we're gonna die of coronavirus. And they're joking, but I think they're worried about that because we're hearing a lot about how healthcare workers are being put at risk uh, in just doing their jobs. Nurses don't have an option about whether or not they can stay home. Uh, and same thing with a lot of physicians. So a lot of us are thinking about end of life um, at the same time as we're being hopeful and doing everything we can to stop the spread of coronavirus and um, to stay well. But what does it mean to think about and talk about your end of life wishes. Another term we use for that is advanced care planning. And there are a lot of reasons why they are very important to think about and talk about with your family and your healthcare providers. So advanced care planning is basically determining what you most value, um, thinking about what you want to avoid and what you're afraid of, and what types of decisions you want to make when it comes to your health care and your end of life care. It also involves informing other people if there were to come a time that you could not speak for yourself about what your wishes are. There are lots of tools that are available uh, to help guide these conversations. But why is it important to talk about it right now when there's a global pandemic? Well, many people will get sick with coronavirus no matter what we do, and a proportion of them will become seriously ill. Some of those people are people who are living with certain conditions that are already affecting their health. So um, that might just be a condition of older age, which is not a disease, but it does affect uh, a person's likelihood of getting very sick with the virus or of dying from its complications. We don't really have all the numbers, so it's hard to say um, what a person's risk is of, of dying or becoming severely ill with coronavirus. Nonetheless, I think right now it's worth having a discussion with your family and your healthcare providers about what your wishes are. If you're living with a chronic illness uh, or disability, you might have some experience of what it's like to be in hospital, maybe even what it's like to be in intensive care. So you might have some clear ideas about what you would or wouldn't want if you did become severely ill with coronavirus. Same thing if one of your parents, for example, is living in a long-term care home, maybe even living with um, a severe dementia or another severe disability. Now, our knee-jerk reaction when somebody becomes very ill is to get them acute medical care. So for example, if an older adult in a long-term care home develops a fever, um, we might want to send them to hospital so they can have a workup and antibiotics if they're appropriate. Under any circumstance, that can be a difficult decision and it may lead to suffering on the part of the person who is living with dementia in the long-term care home. Um, it means going in an ambulance, uh, being taken out of a person's home, oftentimes a very long wait in an emergency department. Um, and oftentimes the person can be treated and get better uh, but usually it's in a more weakened state than the person was before they had that illness. Some people would not want to go through that suffering, uh, recognizing that it will not make such a big difference to the ultimate outcome. Right now, emergency departments are under enormous strain and it's likely to get worse in the coming days. So going to an emergency department under these circumstances with COVID uh, could be even more traumatizing. 
And if an older adult um, who is already um, very frail from having dementia and, and other conditions uh, that have led to the person living in a long-term care home, if that person uh, gets coronavirus and gets very ill with it, the chance that they will survive and be able to return to their previous way of living, even with intensive care, is very low. We don't have the exact numbers again, but chances are that it would be very low and that there would be suffering along the way. So that's why it's a good time now to think about some of those things, to reflect on what you would want or what your family member would want if they were to become ill right now with coronavirus. Would the person prefer to stay in their home and receive treatment for their symptoms? We could also refer to that as palliative care. So the goals of care would not be to treat and reverse anything, but it would help the person to avoid suffering. That might be what you or your family member would prefer rather than to have intensive treatment. Right now, it looks like people are still being given a choice, but that might change. We've heard stories about healthcare rationing in other countries uh, where choices were made about who would have access to life-saving treatment or, for example, to critical care. That doesn't seem to be happening yet, at least not in Canada, but it might be coming. And it might help the system to move more smoothly if people who have made decisions ahead of time that they don't want a critical care intervention make those wishes known. If that's you, then you should write down what your wishes are and talk about them with those who are closest to you, who would be speaking for you if you were so sick that you couldn't speak for yourself anymore. As I mentioned, there are some tools that you can use to write down and reflect on what you would want in certain situations, and um, they can be very helpful. So I'll leave links to those below. None of this is easy to talk about. And as I said, we're all hoping that things will get better. And for most of us, they will. And we can go back to a normal type of life. But right now, uh, while we do maybe have a little bit more time on our hands, it's good to think about some of these big questions and to talk about them with each other. I'm interested to hear what your thoughts are. So let me know down below. And if you want more information about coronavirus, I will leave some links in the description box. And if you wanna know more about aging, as always, you can go to www.therinkle.ca.